Hi, my name is Valeria de Venerm. We're here at the Black Cell at the annual Space Light Art Show from the Hollow Center. This is my piece, the Oculus. This is a piece that I build using the technique of Tiffany, stained glass. Some of these glasses are bevel glass, dichroic glass. Some of them have grisaille painting, which my mom did, are the roses on the center of the piece. We can see the shadows of these bevel glasses being diffracted onto the walls through just the use of light. The casting of colors and repetition of patterns is because of the angles of these type of glass, which is a bevel glass. I also include dichroic glass into my work, which are these pieces that you can see on all the perimeter that have these rainbow effects that with, when light goes through it, it diffracts two different type of colors. One goes through it and one reflects on top of the surface near it. This place is called the Oculus because it's inspired on the rosettes, which are the central stained glass windows that are placed on the entrance of medieval churches. So it's inspired on, on this concept of this opening in the center of a wall that creates a mandala effect which has all around this composition that it's concentric. So all these different pieces of glass are trying to reinterpretate medieval architecture and stained glass onto contemporary creations, which I create with um, lead-free solder and glass and light. I'm very happy to be part of Space Light again. Uh, my first show at the Plexal with the Holo Center was in 2019. So I created a cube that time that also worked, I was working with uh, bevel glass and dichroic glass, but also it had a base of a mirror. And this piece was 3D, it was a cube and it had the concept of the hypercube, which is a shape that exists in the fourth dimension. So then I was able to explore reflections of light through my cue onto two different walls. One of the ideas of my work is to work with perception and how an object that is mainly made with um, techniques that are more ancient, such as stained glass, can also create other type of space through light. This is because of my background in architecture. I usually like to explore the optical dimension of space through the diffraction of light into spectral components. And these effects can um, create some sort of a feeling of meditation for the people who come and visit the show. So it, it is connected to other type of work. Uh, although in this piece, I'm starting to work with more 2D and flat objects. As you see, this is a panel and it has a motor that creates the spinning all around and allows us to have this sensation where you can see how the dimensions of light are being unfolded through the light, which is creating this different type of space. So the concept of this show is mainly artists that work with light, but also how we can alternate realities so I wanted to bring this piece so people can contemplate and see that sometimes there, there exists other type of geometries in nature and that maybe we don't see with our own eyes because, um, for example, the fourth dimension includes movement, right? So if we see a piece that has a, a representation in the 2D or the third dimension, to see objects that come from the fourth dimension we need movement. So we have two, three, the dimensions, and the fourth is adding the movement. So having this piece uh, spinning allows us to start understanding how we can represent shapes that come from the fourth dimension into two-dimensional spaces like a wall. Which is interesting about this work too, is the diffraction of colors that also spins onto the other wall, which is um, 
we can see the shadow and the casting of colors on this wall but if you see how it slightly starts projecting colors and shapes onto that wall this is another dimension of light within this same piece But the audio was fine, right? Even though yes. it's